Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Reflections. And this week's discussions, uh, we will be discussing on volunteerism. And joining our discussion today, we have our speaker from various institutions. So first, I'd like to introduce you, uh, Ms. Englinda. And uh, Englinda is the co-founder of Light Group, a social enterprise institution. And she also used to volunteer in a number of institutions, among, among them, uh, she uh, used to be the president of Student Senate, uh, a student association uh, in Panyasasra Universities of Cambodia. And to my further right, um, we got uh, Mr. Kyle Ratsmay. And uh, Ratsmay is a key account manager at uh, OD, uh, ODI Asia. And he used to be the former vice president of Isaac Phnom Penh and Isaac in Cambodia. And he been volunteering there for about three years and keep engaging until now, probably more than six years. And to my further right, uh, we got uh, Mr. Yi Jan Ratsmay. And Jan Ratsmay currently is a regional manager at Teachport Cambodia. And uh, he also a former president of American Corner Reading Clubs, a, a club based at Panyasasra Universities of Cambodia as well. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Reflections and welcome to Volunteerism Topic. So, let me begin with the uh, first question. Uh, what is voluntary work? Any of you, maybe you can um, start with you to first. To me, a volunteer work is when you get out there, go to work and offer your help and service to others without being paid. Like no money, no exchange for money. Mm -hmm. Just words, my any ideas? So yes, to me, uh, not so different from leaders. So volunteer work is just uh, an unpaid job for the money in terms of monetary, but actually we earn a lot of things except money, like knowledge, experience, especially about uh, about our self development, right? And also we also make the impact to our society throughout our activity in volunteering job. So for me, I think um, volunteering is uh, working uh, with unpaid job, the activity that we uh, would like to contribute to the society or for the non-profit organization that we would like to learn more about the, the various skills and also would like to help the community without uh, getting any pet. That's generous, uh, Mike. Personally, like, why did you volunteer at the first place? I volunteered because I would like to meet new people and also would like to uh, increase my confidence because at the first time I met a, a lot of people I couldn't say a word and I was very really struggling to uh, talk to a lot of people especially a stranger so mm -hmm. that's why I think that is the best way for me to uh, to get out of the comfort zones so I would like to learn more increase my confidence and I, ca I would like to meet a lot of people why do you think that volunteering can help you to increase your confidence the most important things for me that uh, help me to increase my confidence because i think that when i get out of the comfort zone i go to work with other people it helped me to uh, see myself in a very uh, mm -hmm. confident way because i i can have chance to lead other people especially i can uh, do some things that uh, people give me the opportunity to do the very skill Mm -hmm. Let's say, for example, I used to lead the project from the World Bank that they 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 give me the opportunity to lead the group of people, so I can uh, learn that by uh, doing something new mm -hmm. for me. So I can learn how to uh, lead people. I learn how to uh, manage people, and especially how to uh, give the feedback and also learn from my mistake as well at the same time. Okay, well, back to coverage, my um. You joined Isaac for about three years in particular, and then you also continue to engage now project by project. And then why did you join Isaac Campbell? Okay, so actually the reason that I joined, I said the first one is about uh, self development, both personal and professional skills. So mm -hmm. I was kind of person who are not confident enough, especially even communication with people, I also was like, nervous to talk, especially in public. And uh, just only study in school and back home, so I feel, okay, that's not me, I need to do something uh, challenging myself. Just like uh, Mr. Resway also said, I, I need to live out of my comfort zone and challenge myself to become a stronger and a better person. So 
Another reason is I want to make the impact to the society. Because in ISAC, mm -hmm. we have a lot of projects that we could make more positive impact. For example, the teaching program, mm -hmm. uh, and another one is environmental program. Mm -hmm. So I respond for these two projects, and I have give a lot of opportunity to the children in the organization, especially the unfortunate children, to learn English from the volunteer from the, mm -hmm. the other country all around mm -hmm. the world. Mm -hmm. Yes, and last but not least is to make more friends. Yes, and of course I now have friends like more than 40 countries around the world. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I see. Well, Linda, uh, how have volunteer work helped your study? Uh, I think it, it have and also affects my study <laughs> because um, mm -hmm. for, for helping my study because I think that when we are in class, if we don't get a chance to put what we are learning into practice, mm -hmm. we don't really truly understand the lessons. For mm -hmm. example, like I was taking a class about leadership and I don't think that I will totally understand the lesson if I don't really, um, you know, practice during my volunteer, like uh, about teamwork, delegations. Um, if I only reading and listening to the teacher, I don't think that I truly understand. I only know that, oh, this is like that. But through volunteer, it helped me to truly understand what the lessons is really about. But another part, it also affect my study. How? I focus too much on volunteer. I, mm -hmm. I mean, I give almost my almost all my my time to um, to do volunteer, and I think it's it's not a bad thing. But I learned that when when you you know you focus too much on one thing, and then you forget about your study, your health, your time with friends and family, it's also make you kind of exhausted sometimes. So now I learn from that, and mm -hmm. um, I. I mean, I spend only around like 10% of my time right now for doing volunteer and I become happier and I think it's, it's a better way to do that. You cannot like give 100% to that mm -hmm. and forget other things. It's part of life, but it's not everything. I see. Well, um, that's my... Um, Jan, that's my... Yeah, uh, we've been talking about... Oh, we got two that's my... <laughs> 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 um, We've been talking about um, how volunteer work help uh, yourself develop and also uh, it impact community. But I also like to like to know about how it have shaped your career. Maybe because I think both of you, three of you, are working right now, and then pr probably you can provide some insights or ideas about how volunteer work impact or shape your professional career right now. Maybe Chan is my first and following by you. I learn from myself because I have been volunteering for three years, and I it it shaped me a lot because uh, first things that helped me is uh, problem solving because solving. for sure that when we uh, go to volunteer is independent so we learn how to lead ourselves mm -hmm. and when we uh, as a team leader we face many so challenges and many difficult things so that's why we try to solve a lot of problems and find a solution that's the first things that help me a lot of problem mm -hmm. solving the second thing is the leadership development because actually when I volunteer, I didn't get any money and salary. But of course, that, uh, the things that I learned at the same time, it helped me to become a, a better leader. Not just only uh, lead people, but at the same time, learn how to uh, work as a group. Mm -hmm. That how to help a lot of people. Because when uh, I work and I realize that it's not about being a leader at the top of people, but mm -hmm. being as a teamwork. We help each other, we improve each other, and it's the spirit of teamwork. And then mm -hmm. it can also help ourselves, help the team, and also help the organization as well. So you inherit those uh, aspects, and then you apply in your current work. Yeah. Well, um, there's some people say volunteering is a waste of time. How do you say to this idea? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> yes, actually, we invest a lot of time. Yes, just like Lida said earlier. Sometimes we spend a lot of time uh, doing lunch job and a bit careless on study or family or friend. Yeah, some friends said you you don't really spend time much with us like before. Yeah, it always have pro and con, but mostly I see volunteer very positive impacts to ourselves and to the society. We waste, we don't waste our time. We just invest our time to learn something new, to develop ourselves, especially to. Just make friends and make the impact to the society. 
Yeah. Well, some people, maybe Linda, some people when they go to take volunteer job, they expect something in return. Mm -hmm. Not in terms of cell development, but they expect something like party, like gathering. How do you see this idea? Is it a part of volunteer work or something? I think it, it is not a bad thing that you inspire young people to do vol volunteer because of the benefits, but I think it's beyond that. It's more than just the benefit because when you go for benefit, when there is no benefit involved, uh, it's not last long. For example, like um, I, I, I do volunteer because I want to get a good job. And now I, I'm getting a good job, I'm done. I'm stopped doing volunteer. <laughs> and I, I mean, it's, it's more than that. When we don't inspire only people to see the benefits, but beyond that, it's about how you feel. Because to me, I continue to do volunteer for so many, many years and I will continue it, to do it the rest of my life because the meaning, the value that mm -hmm. um, the volunteer being able to add mm -hmm. values to our life and to other people around us. So it's not only meaning, but it goes beyond that. And I, one more thing, I observe that young people, younger generation right now, they do volunteer because they see the benefits. And I, I'm afraid that somehow they don't do it from their heart. They forget to do it from their heart because um, volunteer really, it gives you, of course, it gives you benefits, but at the same time, it more than that. It gives you the meaning, adding meaning and value to your life and, and others. That's me. Uh, why should young people do volunteer job from their heart? To me, personally, I think they, they should think about what they can give back to the society. You know, uh, I remember one quote from the former president of the United States, John S. Kennedy. He once said, uh, ask not what the country can do for you, ask what you can do for the country or the societies. This is really, really correct, and I really strongly support that. As a youth, we are just like the bone of the societies. The society really needs us, so we should join to make something change, like to make a change for our society. Especially, just not just a big change, just starting from each individual of us, making some small change. So if everyone joins together and uh, make something good for our, our society, I believe in the future we will, uh, our people will live in a better condition, our country will become more developed than just now. People should do volunteer from their heart because I think um, there is nothing wrong if you do something for benefits, but if you want to add you know, more meaning, more fulfillments, and more impacts, I think uh, you should go from the heart. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, please, yeah. Lina said, because something that when we do from our heart, we feel special. And when we feel uh, special, we, we can see other people that are this, they feel special as well. One of the things that I remember the most, and I can recall vividly, is that uh, that's the best moment that we can add the value in our life. And and can make a meaningful and also help us to become a positive person by seeing helping people they growing and they turning themselves to become the better person and also we sharing the knowledge not just only the knowledge but also from our heart to other people so that that is the meaning that uh, we uh, we work from our heart we expect that people will grow by we sharing our knowledge and also help them to become the better person in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been listening about positive impact on studies, on personal development, on career development from volunteerism. And the next session, we will be discussing about negative impact from volunteerism on young people's study and on personal development, if any aspects. Thank you. So download app, come on, try your pay plan, read the new card. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Reflections and our discussion today in second sessions. We, we are discussing on volunteerism. And this session, we are discussing on negative impact uh, from volunteerism. So, Chan uh, me. do you see any negative impact on your study when you do volunteer job? Yeah, for sure. So personally, uh, it, it helped me to improve at the same time, but also it affects 
some of the time that I study because sometimes I focus too much on volunteer and then I have no weekend and then, so that's why in the weekend it's supposed for me to review the lesson but I spend most of the time on the weekend to uh, to volunteer with and to meet a lot of people and also would like to build myself up as well so that's why at the same time I cannot balance between that so so I think that that is the effect that it caused me uh, from studying as well. So I think personally, when we volunteer, we need to balance. So we need to uh, spend some time on study and spend some time on the volunteering. What I can see personally is that when we focus on volunteer, we, we focus totally from our heart and volunteer. And at the same time, when we almost take the exam for one week or two weeks, we just spend some time just on one week, two weeks to uh, the study. So at the time we can uh, balance and can get at the good score and also improve ourselves from the personal development and professional development at the same time as well. That's about that, uh, uh, Do you see any negative impacts of, of volunteer uh, on your friendships, on your family connections? Uh, okay. Do you see any negative impacts? Yeah, sure, Bong. Uh, just like I said earlier, everything it has pro and con. Yeah, so volunteer gives a lot of uh, positive impacts, self development, friends, etc. However, it also affects to some part like study and especially about the friendship. And yeah, I got some complaint from friends and family that like they said like you are not spending time uh, with us a lot like before or sometimes some, I really had dinner at home. So because I left home since the early morning and back uh, home very late like sometimes 9 or 10. It's almost happened almost every day because most of the time I spend my evening time and weekends on volunteering jobs. And sometimes we have Skype meeting or online discussion until late night. How did you deal with complaints at that time? Okay, yeah, it's, first it's hard to, to explain them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, but uh, I try to uh, explain to my family first that this is the only chance for me to develop myself, to become a better person, and I promise I will balance my time to on volunteer job, also study, and especially uh, more time with them, with the family. Time, we got only 24 hours yeah. a day. <laughs> Actually, we have to put it into prioritization. Which one we should do first, which one we should do next. For example, study. How many hours should I spend on study? How many hours I should spend on volunteering job per week? And how many hours I should spend with family or friend. Yeah. Linda, as a female, mm. usually you need a lot of time with your family and with your friends as well. Uh, how did uh, your volunteer work affect your uh, connection with family and also with your close friends? Yeah, it it's really affects um, if because we don't have enough time to spend with them. So, um, but to me, I extend it to my family. I, tr I really understand why they don't happy with us yeah. because uh, we kind of doing a lot of volunteer, but I kind of trying to explain to them and trying to bring a positive result for them. Sound like they don't understand volunteer job. Yeah, I think it's not for family, I guess. Um, not all of our parents, their, mm -hmm. their generation really understand about volunteer they think like this is a useless thing because but i we cannot angry with them because yeah. during their generations they don't have volunteer just happen at our um, generation so um maybe trying to explain them trying to open Did our they accept your explanation um at the beginning it's really hard i think it's happened to a lot of my junior too that they said mom i go to volunteer but my mom not happy with that so i think it's hard but um but if you know that this is the right things to do keep continue to do it but at the same time trying to explain them trying to bring positive they result. Cut support from you if you still continue to volunteer maybe, maybe. financial support for your study <laughs> maybe your expense so uh -huh. how how could you handle with that I think it's kind of stressful as well because when you do something and you don't get any money and then your family <laughs> didn't support you, it's kind of stressful. But I think that experience can teach you to be strong, to, be, um, to, to learn to challenge, that there are so many ways that you can um, 
goes through that difficult mm-hmm. time. It, it actually come to test you and make you become a, a stronger person. Well, besides explanation to them, is there anything that we should do to you know get the, get them on our side? To bring positive result to them, like how, how positive is positive. When you do volunteer, you become more mature because you learn how to do. But that's going to take time. What if they still don't agree with you? You should not go to take volunteer job. It's the real case for me when I at the first place my uh, my parents didn't agree that okay you need to volunteer because you get the salary and how you work without getting any money. So for me, at the first things that uh, what I I I learned and I did at the same time is that I give them the reason. Just one thing, and the second thing, give them the the positive future. Because when I join the volunteer job, not just only help me, but also help me to become the better person as well. So I create the scenario that uh, when I join in the volunteer job, and what I can get from the volunteer job, it can help me to become the better person. And the first thing, help me to become the better communicators. And so things become help me to uh, become the problem solver. So with all these things, I am sure that give them the enough positive reason that they can see the what I can grow from the volunteer job. Yeah, I think you want to say something. Yeah, actually, I have very good reason to uh, make my parents adopt my reason. I want to improve my English. Yeah, they really want me to uh, improve my English to be a. Uh, fluent in speaking, in terms of speaking, writing, because they sent me to different school, and yeah, I said, I think it's one of the great places where I can learn and develop my English, because uh, we work with uh, international volunteer. I have a lot of chance to communicate with them, to talk, to discuss with them about the issue, about the projects, so this is the best reason that I, I could let uh, make them agree with me, yeah. So you were saying that, think of any positive consequences from volunteer job yes. and that consequences that impact is what your parent wants and yes. then tell them you want to do that yeah. and then improve yourself you and then you get support yeah. you need to first know what your parent want yeah. <laughs> yeah. understand yeah. from them on, yeah. understand and then from explain them. them from perspective what they want yes, yes. Oh, very smart <laughs> very very smart well let's talk a little bit further on on how to balance between volunteer work and your study, your friend, your your family relationship. So, is there any idea that each of you want to give to the public or audience that okay, you need to do this in order to balance it? I think it's about learning how to say no sometimes because we have so many opportunities right now. There are so many volunteers. There are so many things that that we want to do, but. Uh, we need to know ourselves and our priority. Uh, our priority, what we truly want to do. Because How do we know ourselves. We, need, um, it's a lot of explanation. Um, mm-hmm. The audience can come to me directly if they want to. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, um, to 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 know yourself, you really need to spend time with yourself, listen to... But you stay with yourself 24 hours a day. No, not 24 hours a day. At least, like, um, you have some quiet time with yourself. Oh, that's yeah. what you were saying, that stay with yourself? Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Because I thought that you, you is you, 24 hours there. Just another reflection right now. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, uh, what I learned is learn to say no sometimes, that uh, mm-hmm. we cannot go to all volunteer. We yeah. can choose only one or two that really, um, you know, touch our heart or mm-hmm. that the issue that we really care about. So, I think that that is one part. And another thing, we should learn to live a more balanced life, like trying to, you know, make time for, like, uh, specific time to mm-hmm. do the, the, the work like for example um, you plan to do exercise every Sunday or volunteer only on Saturday something like that and the rest you go on study spend time with your family so have a very specific time to do um, to okay. plan your day so I got from you that knowing yourself very clearly mm-hmm. and then got specific time to do it mm-hmm. and then you can balance between family relation uh, relationship and also with your volunteer work yes. it is the other idea okay yes to me uh, first you have to let the people around you the stakeholders the, I mean I refer to the family friends and also the co-worker in the volunteering 
uh, place. Ensure that they understand about your situation, your heart situation. Yeah. So when they understand it, they will sometimes they don't they at least reduce their mind. Yes. For example, we are a bit late. Okay, uh, we have friend gathering. Okay, friend, I, I can go, but maybe I will be one hour late or one hour and a half late, something because blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Second thing is you have to make a checklist or we call to-do list. What you have to do, just like that said, you have to manage your time properly. Like, what are you going to spend your weekend on? For example, 80% on, uh, 70% on volunteering jobs, 10% with friends and 20% with family or something. Yeah, we have to manage it and just make a list and then follow the guideline. Maybe the first time it's hard, but I think later on you will adapt, adapt it and yeah, sometimes we have to be flexible as well. Yep. you have any idea on uh, how to balance? Uh, any further ideas that you'd like to add on, please? First and foremost, what I think uh, differently because I think personally, when we uh, because when we go to volunteer, we open ourselves million opportunities. But at the at the same time, we need to think what we expect from the volunteer job. That's the, that's the first thing. There's a can think. I think we need to spend time like Linda said. We need to spend time from ourselves first. That what is the priority goal that we want to do in the future? Because most of the people then when they go to volunteer, they expect the benefit. At the same time, they want to align with the goal and strength as well. So I think for me, it, it would be better if we think about ourselves and our goal, what we're gonna do in the future and what we would like to focus and. And that moment, we can go to volunteer that help us to align with our goal. That, that is the first thing. And, and the second thing, I think we, we should not focus too much on the volunteer. Because when we volunteer, for me, real ex example, I, I try to uh, join so many events and to become the volunteer so many organizations. And think that didn't uh, help me a lot because I couldn't speak on my study and couldn't uh, spend with my family and also friends as well. So that's why my real example is that first we should think about ourselves what we want to do in the future and what is our goal. And when we know who we are, clearly we can go to volunteer that help us align with the goal. And at the same time, it can go along the way with the positive result and also help us achieve the goal as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How, how about uh, overall, do you think that positive impact from volunteer uh, outweighs the negative impact from your experience? Not at all. I think there are so many like, positive things and the negative is it's just a uh, small part yes. to me. So I think it's still valuable and, and a great thing to do. So you all agree that uh, positive impact outweighs the negative impact of the volunteering? And I think it really depends on the person too. Like if if they use it in a negative way, maybe they gonna get negative result. Same. How about is there any recommendation to parents out there who are listening to our programs that you should encourage your your son, your daughters to engage with volunteer job? Any recommendation to them as you actually all of you, I think you benefit tremendously from, from being, doing volunteer job in various institutions and then make who you are today. And I believe that you also have some messages for parents and for students out there to engage. And also, you know, I think you got pretty good message to do that. Okay, so to me, I have few suggestions to the parent why you should allow your children to go and volunteers outside the school. You know, there are a lot of things that they could not learn at school, but at volunteering place, you know. So the first thing is about learning and development themselves to be a stronger and a better person. Let them leave their comfort zone. Let them go out and challenge, facing the issue, facing the problem, facing with the people. Then they know how hard life it is. They know how hard the work it is. So in the future, they will become a stronger person. You know, uh, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. So your children will become a stronger and a better person for the family, society, and also a good citizen. Yep. How about you as a female? Any, any messages to parents out there to understand that 
volunteer job is so significant for for you for your uh, uh, children to grow yeah i think volunteer is really important but i'm not trying to convince anybody like to do volunteer or parent you must do that and do that or do this but i think that we all should open mind to um, something new i have this message is to to both parents and for students because uh, we need to understand from each other and the world is keep changing every day like from your generation maybe uh, volunteer is not important but this generation is changing so maybe we we all should learn to be open mind and trying to understand about each other so parents trying to understand about their kid and of course we as uh, their doctor and son should trying to understand about them as well any messages so i think for me uh, for sure that uh, <coughs> if we were the parents, we would care so much about the, our son or doctor as well. So I think I, we, I understand that the parents, they uh, care about their children as well, going outside, work with, with a lot of people, and especially meet a lot of strangers. And I think uh, it would be better if we are uh, open-minded to listen to our children or doctor to, to let them say what they want to do and what... Uh, they gonna do in the future at the first thing and the second thing we should open our heart and give them some time to do their own thing because most of the time parents try to control uh, the children uh, so they cannot be dependent if we control them too much so we need to give them some time to think and also some time to meet a lot of people so they can be independent and they can, they can lead themselves in the future as well so i think for me it would be better if we are open-minded and open our heart and try to understand our children and especially give them some time to do their own things. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we've been discussing things about positive impact, negative impact of volunteerism and then some aspects of volunteerism as well, giving you experiences of our three speakers and also their perspectives about, about uh, volunteerism as well. So we believe that volunteerism has tremendous positive impact while very minimal uh, negative impacts and we believe that it is significant for younger generation to partake in volunteerism and explore different opportunity to further develop themselves and thank you very much. Welcome to CAM ASEAN. This is a wonderful school for you to master your business English skills as well as your professional skills. CAM ASEAN has well-appointed classrooms, also a student lounge and a language lab. The language lab is wonderful for them to improve uh, by themselves their English abilities. We have a wonderful conference hall where we host uh, many activities. I am Sunny. I studied Business English and Skills at KMAZIAN and I'm ready for the ASEAN integration. So why wait? Come and join us now. Jangsaksa Pisa Anglin and Junin Saksa Nakam ASEAN.